This is Deborah Potter at NewsLab with a quick introduction to a couple of tools you can use to keep an eye on what's happening on Twitter in real time. The first one is Monitor, M-O-N-I-T-T-E-R, cleverly spelled to be kind of like Twitter. What you do there is you go to the site and up in the left hand corner you'll find a search box. Simply type in what you want to search, and because there's a lot of news going on in Libya these days, I'm putting in Libya, and add a column. And very quickly you'll see tweets coming up that mention Libya in one form or another, either hashtag or in the body of the tweet. And they'll just start rolling in like this, and you can keep an eye on them as they go. You can pause it if you need to, take a closer look, see if there's something you want to follow up on. I don't need to know that the current time in Tripoli is 6.45 p.m., and let it roll. Now maybe I want to add a second column, different search. Let's see, let's put in United Nations for the second search and add a column. Now I can see what's going on in terms of the United Nations, and oddly enough, a lot of it has to do with Libya. Then if I want to, I can add a location to my search. So here, there's a little button that has a circle on it. If I click there, it allows me to geocode. So I'm going to say I want tweets from the Washington, D.C. area. That's where I am. I want them within, say, 10 miles. Just change that, save the settings. It'll probably slow down my tweets substantially. But there you go. A lot of uh, tweets coming in that are still about Libya, but coming in locally. The second tool is called Twitterfall, and this is what it looks like. Twitterfall allows you to also set up some searches. So I might begin by adding Libya as my search. And just as we saw on the other one, we'll see tweets coming in. You'll also be able to pause this one by rolling over it. Just pause. And rolling off of it sets it going again. You'll see tweets in a queue. They'll come up. And there they are, tweets about Libya. There are more customizations you can do with Twitterfall. You can set the speed to faster, or really fast. That's now fast. You can change the default size of the font, the language. You can tell it not to show retreats, which is really handy, I think. And you can change the size of the text. What you can also do is add a search term quite easily. So maybe I only want to know about Libya where the United Nations is involved. Over here on the left, I can type in United Nations and add it to my search and then I'll be getting Libya United Nation tweets once the queue is filled. Uh, then I can also add a location. So again, if I want to add Washington, D.C. within 10 miles of the city, and I want to know who's tweeting about the United Nations and Libya in my area, that's all I have to do. So once they catch up, the queued tweets, then I'll be seeing people who are tweeting from my area about two topics at once that I care about. You can see how this would be useful for journalists. I hope you'll give these two tools a try.